The following video has been sponsored by Keeps. <laughs> Guys, are you worried about losing your hair? <laughs> Want to treat your male pattern baldness online and at home with consultations from real doctors that have licenses? <laughs> then you've got to try Keeps. <laughs> hey there gamers, I'm award-winning science educator and Aquaman if he had scurvy, Kyle Hill. You know, when I'm not sciencing, I'm thinking about the best ways to take care of my luxurious locks. Guys, did you know that up to 66.6% .6 of you will experience some form of male pattern baldness before the age of 35? <laughs> no, 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 not acceptable. Try Keeps. Keeps is a subscription service that focuses on making it easier and more affordable for men to treat their male pattern baldness online. Get treated at home. Get FDA approved medications delivered at home. Talk to a licensed doctor 24 seven. More five stars than any other hair care competitor. Keeps. Keep it, 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 keep it. Keep it. Guys, are you ready to take action? Are you ready to discover what hundreds of thousands of men already know? Then go down into the description or go to keeps.com slash Kyle Hill to get 50% off your first order. That's keeps.com slash Kyle Hill, my name. If you don't use it, you might lose it. Keeps. Hello, dear viewer. I am delighted to inform you that you join me for an experiment already in progress. As you can see, my car is parked very, very far away, what scientists call over yonder. It's so far away, in fact, hundreds of meters, that if I try to lock it from here with my keyless entry device, as you can see to this GoPro footage that definitely isn't edited together in a way that... If I try to lock it, I cannot unlock my car, but if I then put my keyless entry device up against my own dang head and try the same thing, like so, <laughs> you can see, you, if you can see it from there, it does actually unlock, but why does this happen? What is going on here? Well, it has to do with happenstantial physics and what your meat is made out of. Aria, get my guitar. Do you even play guitar? It's, we'll figure it out, it's fine. Get out of my shot. Now entering the facility. I think the first science-based life hack that I ever heard of in my life was when my cousin Sean told me that you could take your keyless entry device or key fob for your car that you lock and unlock it with, place it against your head or underneath your chin with your mouth open, and it increases the effective range of this device. I've heard about this forever, but according to my very scientific poll of nearly 90,000 of you, most of you don't know what I'm talking about right now. But this little life hack has been in popular culture for some time. It's even been on the most popular car show in the world. So what's going on here? I'm not trying to trick you. This actually works. But why? Well, when I was a little kid, I thought you were somehow focusing the waves coming out of this like a whale's melon when it echolocates, but even though that's very cool, that's definitely not what's going on. The answer is more technical than that. And we begin with waves. When you press on your keyless entry device, what comes out are waves, electromagnetic waves of the radio variety and sinusoidal shape. And just like any old wave, these waves can constructively interfere with each other and destructively interfere with each other, adding up or subtracting from the total amplitude. Now, any old wave can do this kind of interference, but if you really want to see the effects add up or really subtract, you need waves of a similar shape. And now that you know that, it's time to rock. Aria, get me my axe. But Kyle, you don't know how to play guitar. I, I, I have a ponytail. I probably know how to play guitar. It's fine. <laughs> okay, so I know you've probably seen a guy who looks just like me with a ponytail playing a guitar somewhere and you thought to yourself, wow, I really hope he doesn't start playing Oasis. But have you ever also thought to yourself, what actually happens when you pluck a guitar string? A plucked guitar string being fixed at both ends naturally vibrates at what's called a fundamental frequency. This is a standing wave, a wave that can change amplitude but does not change position. A simple pluck 
of this string looks like this. And as you can see, the fundamental vibration in the string is always half a full wavelength. The frets on a guitar that you're familiar with give you, in effect, a way to change the length of the string, which is fixed at both ends. This changes, therefore, the fundamental frequency of that string, the standing wave, and, therefore, the note that you hear. I mean, it would... The note would sound better if I was better at guitar, but I'm... I'm not good. Now, what if instead of changing the length of the string, I change where I allow the string to vibrate? When I put my finger on the string in this very specific way and I pluck it, I'm creating what's called a node, a spot on the standing wave that doesn't move, making a new standing wave that looks like this. Here, vibrations are constructively interfering upon reflection at the fixed ends of the guitar, increasing the amplitude of the wave. Of course, guitar physics gets a lot more complicated than this, but what you should take away is that if you want to add constructively to a standing wave to change it and increase its amplitude, you must add some multiple of half the wavelength of the original standing wave. As you can see from this shape, it's the only shape, or some multiple of this shape, that still has fixed ends, just like the original standing wave. This is called resonance. And it's resonance that brings us back to turning your body into a meat antenna, which I admit sounded better in, in my head. And I just, I wish, I wish I sounded better on guitar. Like I wish I knew how to play guitar and just. I wish I knew how to play. Wait, you're actually good? <laughs> yeah, every guy with a ponytail knows how to rock. As we said, resonance can be achieved by changing how some system is vibrating artificially, like we did with the harmonics on a guitar string, or we can change the system itself. We could change the length of a system such that a new wavelength fits inside of it, specifically a multiple of half wavelengths. Half a wavelength or a full wavelength, what have you. It's increasing the amplitude, like pushing someone on a swing at just the right speed, just the right time to increase their height. This explains what happens in a guitar string, but what is happening inside of a key that's against your head? Well, to know that, we need to know what waves are coming out of that key. So we look up some facts and we take our calculator of choice, I'm using Wolfram Alpha, not a sponsor, and we look up the fact that the velocity of waves is related to the frequency and the wavelength, the product of those two. And now, waves, electromagnetic ones, travel at the speed of light. And if you look up the manufacturing specs on something like a keyless entry device, they operate at 315 megahertz radio. So, if you do some simple division here, you get a wavelength of just under one meter. Now I ask you, dear reader, what in the world could be a multiple of just under one meter? What could, say, be, I don't know, almost perfectly twice that value or four halves of that value? Yeah, that's right. It just so happens that the average human height provides a perfect resonating cavity for the waves that are happenstantially coming out of the car key. This is our potential explanation, but it's not the whole story. At least, not yet. And admit it, I was a lot better at guitar than you thought. It's the ponytail. 
You, a human person, are mostly meat, and that meat is mostly water. Now, water is a fantastic little molecule that does many amazing things owing to its polarity. That is to say, because of how the hydrogen and oxygen pull on each other, water has partial positive and negative charges. Therefore, it responds to electromagnetic fields in a particular way. Specifically, water molecules tend to align themselves and become what's called a dielectric medium. Now, the physics gets very complicated here, but what you should know is that because water can act so differently for these waves in comparison to something like a cavity of air, water can trap these electromagnetic waves inside of some cavity. And the waves can bounce around and form standing waves and act like a dielectric resonator. Huh? So now we have our full answer. It just so happens that the waves that come out of your keyless entry device can enter the human body and resonate because the body is full of water and the body is about half a wavelength of this full wavelength coming out of the keyless entry device, acts as a resonator, increases the amplitude, and therefore increases the range. This is how the life hack works. And better than all me talking and stuff, there's experimental evidence to back this up. You can see even a chart here showing what parts of the body and what wavelengths form this dielectric resonance. And this also all means that you don't necessarily need a human body to make this life hack work. You could just hold your key up to say a jug of water the size of your head, your head being the length of another fraction of a half wavelength. So let's, let's test, test it. it. You, you owe me a Coke. Young lady. Okay, one final test. As you can see, dear viewer, we are back outside. I am back parked very, very, very far away. What scientists call way over there. <laughs> and we are now gonna try to prove everything that we talked about during this episode by substituting our own meat faces for a jug of water. So, as you can see again, we'll cut to GoPro footage. If you want to see the lights, you can't see them from here. I tried to unlock the car with this keyless entry device, hand out stretch as you normally would, and nothing happens. But now I'm going to put the car key right up against the jug of water and do the exact same thing. And Can you hear the horn? It totally works. It proves everything that we've talked about. This happenstance of physics, the wavelengths, your meat body, it all adds up to why you can turn your own body into an antenna. It's actually something that bioinformatics and medicine is looking into to send signals around hospitals and that kind of, anyway, it proves that we're right. And you can try this at home. Until next time. Now exiting the facility. Thank you so much to the very nerdy staff at the facility for their direct and substantial support in the creation of this here video. Today especially, I want to recognize research assistant Systemic Sammy and visiting scholar Espen Oset. If you want to join the facility, if you want to drape on a silky white lab coat, if you want episodes early, if you want to talk with me every day on Discord, if you want private members only live streams with me every month, not like that. You can go to patreon.com slash Kyle Hill and join the facility today. And hey, as you can see, there's literally hundreds and hundreds of you. So I have no idea how I'm going to pass the time as the episode. What I really like about this is that this little science experiment is something you can easily do at home with your friends or with your family or with your little ones. It's completely harmless, totally safe. Just go by your car, walk backwards from it until it no longer works or, and picks up the signal from the key and then try this out. Do a little experiment, do tests, grab uh, buckets of water of different sizes, see what works, what doesn't. Uh, if you have a car that's from Europe and not from America, the wavelengths are different and so the distances and the sizes are all gonna be different. You can all do this at home and do science and, and sorry, someone was trying to unlock me from a distance. Thanks for watching.